Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. A combat jet trainer is an aircraft intended for the education and training of armed forces flight crews. It includes training and combat armament suspensions and can be used in military operations. Today, we will show you the 10 best combat training aircraft in the world. Guizhou JL-9 the Guizhou JL-9 is a Chinese combat trainer designed by Guizhou on the basis of the Guizhou JJ-7, a Chinese copy of the MiG-21U. It is available for export under the designation FTC-2000 Mountain Eagle. It performed its first flight in 2003. The avionics and engine were improved in the Guizhou JL-9. It is intended to train pilots for high-performance aircraft flights such as the advanced fourth-generation JL-10 and Su-27 fighters. The JL-9 is equipped with one WP-13F turbo engine with an afterburner. The aircraft has four hard points under the wing and one center point. The JL-9 can carry up to 4,409 pounds 2, kilograms of weapons, including short-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and bombs. It is also equipped with a 23mm cannon. Aero L-39 Albatross The L-39 Albatross is a Czechoslovak combat training aircraft. It was designed to replace the Aero L-29 Delphin training aircraft. The first flight was made on 4th November 1968. Albatross is in service in more than 30 countries of the world. The L-39 is designed for the primary training of students in piloting techniques in normal and difficult weather conditions both during the day and night as well as for teaching the elements of combat use related to the visual interception of air targets, actions against ground targets, and for the training of flight crews of flying colleges and combat units. The L-39 Albatross is powered by a dual-circuit twin-shaft AI-25TL turbo engine with a 12-stage axial compressor and a 3-stage gas turbine. The armament of the L-39 aircraft includes bombing, unguided missile weapons, and guided missile training weapons, sighting, and photo control equipment. Dassault Dornier Alpha Jet The Dassault Dornier Alpha Jet is a third-generation low-mass jet attack training aircraft jointly developed by Germany's Dornier and France's Dassault Brigade as part of the France-Germany Military Technical Partnership Program. The Alpha Jet is a full-metal high plane with a swept wing and a single wing tail. The power unit consists of two Snecma Larzac turbojet engines. The engines are located in motor nacelles on each side of the fuselage. The underfuselage suspension unit can carry a 30mm DEFA 553 cannon, a 27mm Mauser cannon, or two 12.7mm machine guns. The four underwing units can carry bombs up to 880 pounds, 400 kilograms, as well as incendiary bombs, 692 or 826 pound, 314 or 375 kilograms. The Alpha Jet can be equipped with Maverick, Sidewinder, and Marta Magic 2 missiles. Ermaci M345 The M345 is an Italian turbojet powered trainer aircraft. It is an upgraded M311 jet trainer rebranded in 2012. The cockpit of the M345 simulates a fighter cockpit and provides good visibility. With its various flight modes, high maneuverability at maximum speed, high and low altitudes, advanced avionics, and high payload, the M345 can also potentially be used in military operations. The integrated training simulator allows the pilot to be trained in a variety of scenarios, including interaction with other aircraft and ground-based training facilities. The M345 is powered by a Williams International turbofan engine, providing high G-force ratios and extended operating time. Yakovlev Yak-130 
The Yak-130 is a Russian combat training aircraft jointly developed by Yakovlev Design Bureau and Italian company Ermachi to replace the L-39 trainer aircraft in the Russian Air Force. This aircraft allows students to practice takeoff and landing, aircraft control in high-limit flight modes, navigation, the reaction in emergency situations, performing combat missions, flying in a team, and many other tasks. The aircraft is powered by two AI-222-25 engines with superior specifications. There is also an auxiliary power unit to provide thrust engine activation, electrical power supply, and air supply to the cockpit. The concept of this combat-capable training aircraft implies that it can carry a wide variety of weapon types. The Yak-130 has eight suspension points under the wings and one under the fuselage. Its payload is 6,600 pounds. 3,000 kilograms. T-50 Golden Eagle The T-50 is a two-seat supersonic combat training jet. It was jointly developed by the South Korean aerospace industry company KAI and the U.S. company Lockheed Martin. Its construction began in the mid-1990s. The aircraft is equipped with a single General Electric F404 turbofan engine with an afterburner. The Golden Eagle can reach a maximum speed of 1,119 miles per hour, 1,640 kilometers per hour, at an altitude of 5 miles, 9 kilometers, which makes it one of the fastest trainer aircraft. The integrated armament of the combat version includes a 20mm cannon, the outboard armament mounted on seven hangar points, one under the fuselage, four under the wing, and two on the wingtips, includes air-to-air -air and air-to-ground guided missiles, as well as guided and unguided bombs and cassettes. C-101 Aviojet The C-101 Aviojet is an advanced trainer and light attack aircraft. It is in service with the Spanish Air Force and some other countries. The C-101 Aviojet is a two-seat all-metal monoplane with a low-lying wing. It has a single wing tailplane and three post-landing gear with a front strut. Both sides of the fuselage have air intakes of the US-made TFE twin-circuit jet engine. The fuselage can be equipped with a 30mm DEFA cannon or two 12.7mm machine guns. Various reconnaissance and electronic warfare equipment can also be placed here. The aircraft has a maximum payload of 2,535 pounds 1,150 kilograms, at six suspension points. BAE Systems Hawk The Hawk is a British subsonic jet trainer and light attack aircraft developed by BAE Systems Company. It has been in service with the Royal British Air Force as a training aircraft since November 1976. Training and combat modifications are widely exported. The Hawk is powered by Ader turbojet engines of MK-151 modification. The Hawk Mk-1 combat training aircraft has three external hangar units that can carry a cannon launcher with a 30mm Aiden cannon and a 120-round ammunition on the fuselage unit and two rocket launchers with unguided rockets or practical bombs on two pylons under the wing. T-45 Goshawk The T-45 Goshawk is an American deck-based trainer aircraft. It was developed based on the British Hawk and is produced jointly by the U.S. Boeing and British Aerospace Companies. Initially, it was expected to produce two models, T-45A, intended for use on aircraft carriers, and T-45B, intended to be based only on coastal airfields. But the U.S. Navy decided to order only the T-45A. This aircraft is made by the normal aerodynamic scheme with a low-lying wing of moderate sweep. The power unit consists of a twin turbojet engine. Four underwing and below fuselage suspension units can carry bombs and a container with a 30mm cannon. 
The aircraft can be equipped with five suspension points with a 30mm Aiden cannon container and ammunition container installed on the center pylon. The total weight of the armament is 6,512 pounds, 2,954 kilograms. EMB-314 Super Tucano The EMB-314 Super Tucano is a training aircraft as well as a light turboprop attack aircraft manufactured by the Brazilian company Embraer. The prototype had its first flight in 1999. It was initially developed as a trainer aircraft but subsequently upgraded to be capable of providing airstrikes. The Super Tucano is designed according to the normal aerodynamic scheme. It is a low plane with a straight wing. It is powered by a Pratt & Whitney turboprop engine that has a maximum power of 1,600 horsepower. With this engine, the aircraft can accelerate in flight up to 366 miles per hour, 590 kilometers per hour. The aircraft has five hard points, one under the fuselage and four under the wing. The maximum payload is 3,306 pounds, 15,000 kilograms. Close-range air-to-air guided missiles as well as free-for-all or guided aerial bombs can be used. That's all friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which one of the aircraft you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.